Hello everyone, again with the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Tales of the Abyss Blind. Alright guys, so, yeah, sorry about, um, having to just, like, record this right now, considering I like to have your guys' advice, um, but I couldn't find a save point, and I just, yeah. Either way, I'm gonna continue playing, um, so be sure to give advice this time, and yeah. Okay, awesome. Oh, I can get behind enemies this way. Cool. Alright, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. That feels so good. Okay. Okay. Woo! Awesome. Plus point zero four. I will take that. Awesome. So yeah, that free run. Oh, that is that's gonna be nice. In the middle of combat, if I'm just getting surrounded, I can just get out of the way. That's gonna be so good. And the Mew! I love it! I love the Cheagle! Okay. Ah, alright. Let's move. Cool. So, um... Is that a Liger? Frick! Oh. Ooh. Some of them have. Oh, come on, I just want to get behind you. Whew! Huh, get out of my face. Point zero two. I'll take that. I need to heal. Um, do you have any healing arts? Yes, she does. Yes. Cool. Thank you for that. Let's move. Okay, so... I'm gonna assume that's their den. I'm gonna like avoid that temporarily. Yes. Good. Magic lens. Ooh. Does that mean boss? Because I'd prefer not to fight a boss without a save point of some sort. Uh, okay. Well, let's continue. Oh. 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 I'll destroy you. Okay. Oh, I forgot the button. Because, I again, like, I had the action swapped when I played Symphonia. I think I could probably do that again. Uh, might as well learn the default one, since I'm sure the whole series does this. And if I get into playing future ones, better learn it now than later. Um... Woo! Okay. Yeah, this is pretty basic. Again, played Symphonia. Alright. Woo! There we go. Cool. It's over. Point thirty one. Awesome. Yeah, I am just, yeah, that free roam is great. I love it. Thank you, game. Thank you for giving me that. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know what awaits me next. That's... Save point. That's a green one. A memory circle? memory circle with healing properties Ooh! awesome thank you game all right yeah that I don't think that was in Symphonia awesome awesome okay the save here cool <sighs> man it's great to have a save point Ugh. Well, either way, I already committed that this is another part, so I'm just gonna keep going. Life bottle? Okay. Well, let's move. That must be the queen. Oh yeah, I've already killed your friends, by the way. The queen? Ligers live in packs formed around a giant female. 
Mew, please go talk with the Liger Queen. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Yes, sir! she say? She says her eggs are just about to hatch, so go away. Uh -huh. Her Highness is really mad that I accidentally burnt their home. Eggs? Ligers lay eggs? Yeah, that's that's a little weird. I was born from an egg, too. A lot of monsters are born from eggs. Huh. This is bad. Ligers are more violent when they're guarding their eggs. So what, do we come back later? But if the Liger eggs hatch, the young will likely swarm the village in search of food. That is valid. Huh? Liger young like human flesh, so people hunt down any near cities before they can reproduce. Could you ask them to leave this land? Yes, sir. Mew! Mew, mew, mew! Okay, no. John are angry. Whoa. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't protecting you, I was protecting Ion. Baka. <laughs> okay. She says she's going to kill us and feed us to our children. Well, that's pleasant. Here she comes. Phone Master, please step back with Mew. Ooh, this music. But wait, if we fight here, the eggs might break. It may be cruel, but that would probably be for the best. Mm. If we leave the eggs and they hatch, the young could easily wipe and gave out entirely. Look out! The queen! Damn it! I'm... This plot is a lot more engaging. Ah! Okay. Loading them. Loading. Is this a boss theme? Okay. 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 Alright. Come on. Come after me, you big freak. Come on. Woo! Yeah, come at me. Come on. Come on. That feels so good. Frick. Uh. Woo! Oh, wait. I. Oh, yeah. I have like a parry thing, don't I? Oh, what? What was that? I can jump? When could I do that? What? Wait, hold on. If I'm... If I'm... Wait, the guard button jumps when I'm running? Wait, that's weird. Okay, so I can jump. It's just... Okay, that... That's... Alright, now I know. Frickin' frickin' frick. Okay, let's go. Alright, um, you know what? Uh, item. Uh, magic lens. Okay, so she's like a little under half her HP right now. Wait, oh, I, what the, uh, I'm dumb. I pressed the wrong thing again. Sorry, Symphonia Instincts right now. And I say Symphonia Instincts because I changed the button layout when I played that. Okay, I need to lead you away from Tyr. So come on. What? Hey, what the hell? It's not dying! This isn't good. Our attacks aren't hurting it at all. Actually, our attacks definitely were so, hurting it. So do something! Allow me. Huh? Who are you? Hey, you! Leave the inquiry for later. I'll use phonic arts to take care of this. You make sure I have time to cast. All right, should be no me. problem. Let's leave this to him. We'll buy time by taking on the Liger Queen. Don't let her attacks hit him. I know, I know. 
Okay. So probably whenever he lands that, it's gonna be really OP. Okay. Alright, so that did a good amount of a good amount of damage. Okay. That this free roam is amazing. Woo! Woo! I love this game. Okay, that's ten. Definitely not an ordinary phonist. Oh yeah, they were talking. Sorry, I wish there was subtitles on that. Okay, magic guard. Sweet. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm liking this game. Ah. Okay, red eyes. Anis, could I speak to you for a moment? Oh. Yes, Colonel. Did you call me? Oh, I know who she likes. Okay, understood. In exchange, you have to keep a good eye on Ion. This left a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> you're quite kind, or perhaps just soft. And you're cold. Oh dear, lovers quarrel. <laughs> Shut up! Colonel Curtis, we don't have that sort of relationship. I'm joking, and please, call me Jade. I'm not accustomed to being called by my family name. Mm. Jade, I'm sorry for running off and doing this. It's unlike you to do something like this when you know it's wrong. Together with Yulia, the Cheagles are the foundation of the Order of Lorelei. For some reason. <laughs> I felt I had to take responsibility for any trouble they had caused. And that's why you used your power? Didn't the doctor tell you not to? I'm sorry. And you've involved civilians as well. Hey, old man, he's apologizing, right? Give him a break. Oh, I expected you to complain about being dragged into this. I'm a bit surprised. Mm. So am I. Well, we don't have much time anyway. I'll stop the lecture at that. The letter arrived, didn't it? Hmm. Yes. Now, let's go ahead and get out of this forest. I want to get the treasure chest. No! We have to report to the Elder! It's a Cheagle speaking a human language? Yeah. It's the power of the sorcerer's <laughs> ring. <laughs> Jade, can we stop by the Cheagle's home? Dude. <laughs> All right. But please don't forget that we haven't much time. Is he just part of the party? Luke, thank you for your help. Please, join me for just a little longer. Well, I've come this <laughs> far. Might as well. Bro! Okay. Bro. That Colonel Jade is certainly quite strong. As he is in the party. Hm. I could have done just fine without him. You better not try and get in my way again, I'm warning you. I realize I may have been interfered with your ambitions, but the sight was just too much to bear. I'll refrain from getting in your way in the future. In exchange, I ask that you do me the same favor. You stuck a piece of... <coughs> well, anyways, the problem's been resolved and nobody's hurt, right? Why not just leave it at that? Yes, let's go inform the Cheagle Elder and head back to Engave. Resolved indeed. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the treasure chest. Found life bottle. Sweet. And a cutlass. Ooh. Wait, do I already have that equipped? Frickin' A. Okay, whatever. Um. The eggs are broken. Okay, well that happened in the middle of the fight, I guess. Alright. What is that? It's something shiny. It's pretty. What is this thing? Oh, well, bet. Well, guess we'll go ahead and take it. Technical ring? Um. Hold on. Allow switching to manual control mode. Be a master technician of the sweet science. Sweet. 
So wait, does that mean like you can't like do co-op until this point? Or is it just like the semi-auto? Uh, I don't know. Oh, cool. I, I am liking this game. This is fun. You guys, like, all right. It, like, having played Symphonia, I have, like, the previous experience. But kind of, like, on top of that, I am also, like, the free roam is amazing. Like, the fact that, like, we were all able to efficiently gang up on that guy was great. Because we had him surrounded on all sides, so I just kept pushing him into it. Her, I guess it was a her, but whatever. Either way, that was a great boss fight. I really like that. And it, ah, uh, man, I'm gonna kill you. Because I'm just having fun. <laughs> Woo! You are real strong. Bruh, I got like positive grade for that. Bruh, I could grind that. Bruh. Uh, maybe not, but still, wow. How strong are you? 45! I mean, I guess it's not really that surprising. <laughs> One shot, that dude. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna grind grade, but okay. Cool. Um, let's head over here. And, right, 45 though. That's intense. I'll destroy you. Well, one point seven four. Sweet. Well, let's continue moving then. Uh, hello, sir. I want to fight you. Let me fight you. Okay. I'll destroy you. The almighty skill. I wonder. I must see. Nope, don't see it. He sucks. He does have pancake time, though. Um, you guys know the skill. If you are from my Symphonia playthrough. Uh, right. Is that in this game? Because if so, that, I mean, if not, that sucks. Because I wanted my, like, as Snivy says, many colors. Okay. Mew. Mew, mew, mew. Mew. <laughs> mew! Mew, mew, mew! It's quite amusing to watch monsters talk like this. They're so cute. She's blushing. Huh? You say something? <laughs> <N> no. <laughs> you told me what happened. You met with great danger on our behalf. We are grateful that you have kept your promise even after 2,000 years. Of course. Aiding the Cheagles is part of Yulia's teaching. But the original cause of all this was Mew burning the Liger's home. Mm. So I will have Mew atone for his mistake. Is he getting banished? What are you going to do? I will exile Mew from our tribe. Yep. That's too cruel. Naturally, I don't mean forever. I hear that Master Luke saved Mew's life. Cheagles do not forget their debts. Mew will serve Master Luke for one cycle of seasons. Hmm. Hey, I'm not involved <laughs> in this. Mew insists upon accompanying you, Master Luke. I leave it up to you to decide what to do with him. Dinner? No. <laughs> Why not take him along? Okay. I don't need a pet. <laughs> oh. Cheagles are the sacred beasts of the Order of Lorelei. I'm sure he'd be well received by your family. Hmm. I guess I could give him to Guy and the others as a souvenir. I'll do my best to be useful, Master. <laughs> oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> well, it appears his report has ended. Let's leave the forest. Wait, you're just gonna give him the ring? Hmm. Okay. Who died and made him boss? Alright, fine. Luke, 
can't you walk a little slower? Mew can't keep up. <laughs> Why do we have to slow down for that thing? Aw, he's so cute up there! <laughs> Don't worry. He's <laughs> here. See? Even he says he's fine. Why do you have to be so mean? C can't you treat Mew like one of us? One of us? He's the most annoying thing I've ever seen. Oh, please don't fight. Shut up already. It's your fault in the first place for burning up the Liger's home. Bruh! If you hadn't done that, the Liger Queen could have hatched her eggs without bothering anybody. And everything would have been... No, we, ex we explained how that wouldn't have been good. You got that, huh? Mew. No, no, I'm sure Mew understands the gravity of ways to... Oh, I guess eggs up there. You could stand to be a bit more mature, Luke. Could stand be a bit. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, now that that's cleared up, shall we be going? Oh, son of a. Wow. Wow, bro. Wow, bro. Wow, bro. How could you. That was there. That was there. I should have trusted my instincts and gone in there, but I did not, and I am now I'm suffering from my mistakes, and now I'm making a second video to it without the advice. But it's okay. It It's all going to turn out well, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to miss anything important. But we're okay. Yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, what is the OL? He's filled that up a bit. Whatever that is. Secret. Um... Okay. Cool. Come on, you! Fire! Fire! You! Watch it, you can very well start a forest fire. Then what? Forest fire? <laughs> like that'll ever happen. I mean, if it did, it wouldn't be my fault. It's the one spewing fire all over the place. Brah! Mew, if that happened, I'd be banished for real this time. I can't believe I'm witnessing this level of idiocy. Hmm. Wow. That. Wow, bro. Anyways, that thing is so adorable, though. <laughs> okay, well, let's move. Okay, um, let's fight this thing. Come on. Let's go. This looks like fun. That's right. Okay. Plus point eighty-five. I'll take it. Okay, let's move. Oh man. Yeah. Well, I mean, I regret some of my actions, but at the same time, I don't. Uh, should I have talked to all of the Sheagles? Maybe. Wait the way. Fight some dodos. You're dead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah, I'm having so much fun doing this. Granted, that guy is like killing everything for me, but still, yeah, this is going great. All right, so let's see. Okay. Also, like, on a story writing perspective, this is actually, like, very interesting. Again, this is, like, a very unique, like, world so far. Hey, isn't that your bodyguard? Yes, that's Annis. Welcome back! Greetings, Annis. What's the status of the Tartarus? It's in front of the forest, just like you asked. You said to hurry, so we came as fast as we could. Hmm. Hey, what's going on? Restrain those two. They're the ones who have been emitting the seventh phonons. Excuse me? Jade, don't do anything to hurt them. Don't worry, we won't kill them. Assuming they don't resist. Huh? Yeah. But I wanted to find old lady at a water mill. Take them away. Ah. Well, now we are imprisoned. 
That's neat. That's cute. I wanted this for my life. <laughs> well, now I am on this ship. The seventh phone on hyper resonance came from the direction of the capital of Kimloska Landvoldir. Hmm. And converged inside Malkuth territory near Tataru Valley. Now, if you two were the source of that hyper resonance, that would make you guilty of illegally crossing the border into our country, wouldn't it? A little bit. We didn't mean to do that, though. Jeez, you're obnoxious. <laughs> he called you obnoxious. <laughs> I'm terribly hurt. <laughs> but moving on, Tyr, we already know you are with the Oracle Knights. But what about you, Luke? What's your full name? Luke von Favre. I'm the Luke you idiots tried to kidnap. Mm. The son of Duke Favre, who married into the Kimloskan royal family? A duke? Oh. What's with the hearts? Why are you in Malkuth? And what's this about a kidnapping? That doesn't sound very pleasant. We're here only because our seventh phonons caused a hyper resonance. It wasn't an act of aggression against Malkuth by House Fabra. Colonel, I believe Tyr is telling the truth. I don't feel any hostility from him. Yes, it does seem he's lived a sheltered life, completely ignorant of the world outside. Huh, fine, make fun of me. <laughs> Actually, why don't we ask for their help? We're headed for Kimloska under orders from His Majesty Peony the Ninth, Emperor of Malkuth. To declare war? Wait, what? Are you saying a war's gonna start? You've got it backwards, Luke. We're trying to prevent a war from breaking out. Annis, that's not public information. Mm. Trying to prevent a war? Are relations between Kimlaska and Malkuth really that bad? I think you're the only one who doesn't know. You know, you're obnoxious too. <laughs> We're going to release you now. I'll grant you permission to enter any area you wish, apart from those containing military secrets. First, learn a little about us. Then if you feel you can trust us, we'd like to ask your help. So that we might prevent this war. If you want us to help you, why don't you just tell us what's going on? If we were to explain, and then you decided not to cooperate with us, we would be forced to hold you captive. What? This matter is a state secret. That's why I'm urging you to make up your mind first. I hope we have your understanding. Well then. I'm sure they'll tell you the details after you agree to help. I'll be waiting. Yes, yeah, see I am. Luke, I'd so love to go places with you. You are like 10. So, no. <laughs> but nice Please come to talk know. to me if you're willing to assist the colonel. Why don't we take a walk around the ship? I think even you'll start to get an idea of what's going on in the world. Let's go exploring, Master! Uh, okay. I am lucky. Sorry. Darn it, Jade. That guy. I wouldn't have bothered with the Chiga Woods if I knew about this. From what he was saying, it sounds like they've had their eyes on us the whole time. We would have been captured one way or the other. But I didn't do anything! They don't have any right to treat me like this. Still, there are advantages to siding with them while we're in Malkuth. Hmm. You won't have to hide your identity for one thing. Whatever, it's all your fault anyway. Ever since you came, it's been nothing but trouble. Uh, I want to go home already. Wow, dude. Oh man, though. I'm really liking like the more militaristic plot angle this time around. Again, it's... Mm, I like it. Ah. Do you wish to speak with the Colonel Jade? Mm, not yet. I see. Well then, please let me know when you do. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm here on the ship. Um, gonna, like save. Um. Yeah, I'll save over this one again. Might as well. Um. But yeah, though. 
Um, still really darn cool. Like, I am loving a lot of things about this game right now. <laughs> um, but I think it's just like, I think like, again, having, including like a military kind of thing in the plot is definitely like making this feel a little bit more anchor, in my opinion. Um, but either way, hello. What do you have to say, ma'am? Hey, Luke! I can show you around if you like. Hmm. Um, maybe I would just get in the way. Not at all. We'd appreciate it. Wow, so you do actually smile on occasion. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, please don't fight. Come on, Luke, let's go. All right. Got you, Anise. So, Luke, where do you want to go? Where? Well, uh, I don't know anything about the ship, so what's on it? <laughs> Let's see, there's the bridge, there's the lounge where all the soldiers relax, there's a cafeteria too. Well, a small one anyway. Then there's a big room that is for meetings. And a bunch of rooms for everyone to sleep in. That's it? Doesn't sound very interesting. <laughs> well, the TARDIS is a battleship, so I can't really compare to a cruise liner. Oh, how about the engine room? It's great if you're into Fawn Tech. Hmm. Uh, no, that's okay. I don't know any of that stuff anyway. Oh, and the Colonel might not want you going to the bridge or the engine room, so... So basically all I can do is wander around the hallways. Yeah, great place. <laughs> Alright, let's go, Luke. Stop complaining. Just enjoy the scenery, I guess. Huh? What's that? It's a phone stone. They're making it glow by heating it. They must use it for lighting here. Hmm. Phone stones are those glass rocks floating up in the sky, right? Oh, yeah. Phone stones are sacred stones created when the score is red. Don't call them glass. Huh. All right, all right. When the score is red? The fudge does that mean? Okay. Ooh, this whole scenery is really cool. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm just... Let's enter here. Let's see what's here. Just want to like explore more before I end off because yeah, that's that's gonna happen inevitably. <laughs> Got recruit Tony. Did you do it again? Tony, oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I want to become a faunist, so I was practicing phonic arts. Phonic arts are big in our country, so a soldier who can't use them is an embarrassment. I use phonic arts anyway. Can I use it too? You take phonons from the phon belt in, into your body and then collide your phonon frequency with your with their own, generating special power. Okay. So. Alright. So you plug it in like materia? The phon belt is a layer of phonons that surround the planet. There are six phonon elements in all. By opening your body's phon slots, you draw in phonons and then join them together using a phon verse. Okay, so is it like chakra then? Uh, I have no idea what the heck you're talking about. Okay, basically a phonic art uses a spell, a phon verse, to control elemental powers called phonons. It's very difficult. <laughs> Colonel Jade can do it as if it were nothing. He's a genius. Hmm. Alright, I have a book. Okay, so I can't grab you. Uh... Alright. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just exploring around. I don't know how long this part is gonna be. I just wanna see what's around. Okay. Um, hello, books. Oh, is that a book I can read? No. Okay. You. Oh, wait, that's a chest. Apple gel. Sweet. Okay, I gotta keep an eye out for those then. Uh, let's move them. Okay. Um, hmm. What's in here? Am I allowed to go up here? I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm still inside, so that's good. Oh, hey, Ion! I'm sorry for getting you involved in this. No kidding. If you'd at least tell me what's going on. I'm afraid I'm influencing the situation as well. That's why Jade is being so cautious. 
Because the Order of Lorelei is acting as a go-between? Yes, that's part of it, but I'm afraid I can't tell you yet. This is such a pain. <laughs> what is... Oh, hi. Uh, but yeah, what is Luke's voice actor? I feel I've heard him before. Well, well, Luke. A lovely lady on each arm. <laughs> Let's not call her that, okay? All right, she's got like five. Ye no, she's got like eight years to go. Even then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Colonel. I, I'm not. We're not. It totally is. <laughs> He's not talking about you. He must mean Annis and Mew. <laughs> Wait, Mew's a key Mew's a girl. Okay, that's what I thought. You sure as hell don't sound like one. Now, now, settle down. By the way, what's this about a kidnapping you mentioned earlier? How should I know? You people from Malkuth are the ones who kidnapped me. Well, I'm afraid I don't know anything about it. Did it happen during the previous Emperor's reign? Huh, beats me. Thanks to that, I lost all my childhood memories. It probably didn't happen then. I'm sure you have your grievances, but I do hope that we can obtain your cooperation. I think you've been lied to, Luke. Huh. Okay, I'm figuring out this plot. Ooh, this is a really coolly designed ship. Is this gonna be like my airship equivalent in the game? Cause that'd be cool. Ooh! Oh, this place is like awesome! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I love this. Oh, this place just keeps getting bigger and it's great. The ladders for Deck Man is climbing into dangerous if you are not used to it, so please stay away. Okay, guys, I think before I get too caught up in it, I think I will have to end off. I'm sorry. Alright, 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 alright. So, anyways, guys, I thank you so much for tuning into this part of Tales of the Abyss. I am loving this game. I am loving this game. I, like, I mm, okay. I'm interested to see what happens. I'm like fanboying over a freaking like land ship, but like it's a cool land ship. It is a freaking cool land ship. Either way, I'll see you guys later. All right. Mm, bye. Comment advice below. All right. See ya.